Next on the project list is, well, the long project list is to build the doors for the trailer. And these are going to be kind of trick because we'd like them to open goal wing. Uh, so that creates weight issues for sure. But then also I got to figure out how to make the mechanisms to open them. So a few hurdles to go over on that. In the meantime, the boys are going to be putting in some insulation and getting ready for conduit. So when we started with this door, it was square, and it would have just come straight across this, and what we've done is lift it up. And because of the curvature that we went for, so a 6'4 person could get through it, um, we would have to do some tricky hinges to move it away, like a refrigerator type hinge. Instead of that, we thought it would be cool to do something a little more flush, uh, which means we are going to open it like a goal wing. With the goal wing, there's some obvious challenges as far as like clearances. When we're making this, we're going to use a very light material. So it's a fiberglass, Nomex, kind of like Kevlar, honeycomb material. And then this eventually will be the aluminum skin. And before we put the Nomex down, we create a buck and then make a template out of the cardboard. So that's kind of what you're seeing right now. So you saw before that I made that cardboard template and that is to build the custom door that's going to go on the trailer. So you can see I built a bug to create, match, or mimic the curve. And now what I'm doing is I put down a layer of veneer, wood veneer, and then I put honeycomb, and then now two layers of glass. So hopefully we've got the curve right and it's going to be nice and strong and I've also kind of put that veneer ahead of time so when I come back I can just varnish over that, make it all in one shot, at least that's the idea. We'll see how it turns out. Like I mentioned, second layer of glass here. Saturation. A little on the pot here. And I had to go run and get a brush because I forgot it. Try to prepare and have all your stuff ready when you go to do this. So I like to kind of get the middle so it'll all hold in the spot. Okay. Worked my way out, now I'm not going to get wrinkles. No. There may be a better way to do this. If someone knows of anything, let me know. You can see the honeycomb material coming through there. Cool, and so once after I get it spread out, even with the brush, then I'll use the Bondo spreader to work out the air bubbles and also to uh, just get it nice and smooth and get a uh, constant saturation. This is the first attempt on the door. We were making these custom doors and I haven't done it before. And I started playing with this honeycomb carbon fiber material. Just because it should be lightweight and strong, but we're hand laying it up and I... Unfortunately, when I laid it up, I tried to lay it up with the veneer already on it to save a step and it wrinkled and that apparently wasn't very smart. But I uh, did get the curves established and the buck is working, so um, I'll go reform it with the, another material. And uh, the boys pointed out though, it does look like a good toboggan, so I will finish resining it and maybe this winter we'll do some team building tobogganing so it won't go to waste. First attempt didn't exactly work out. 
time for attempt number two. So this is attempt number two. I went with the, the back door instead of the big front door, so if I mess this up, at least I'm learning quicker and not using as much material. So let's hope we get it right on the second attempt. This is more like a surfboard build. I'm using normal foam. I'll be layering it uh, to get the curves in, and then we'll veneer after so that hopefully I don't get the same wrinkly toboggan that I got on the last one. There's one that we're recreating that door. This is pretty flimsy still, but it'll give me an idea if the curve is correct. And the other thing that happened to me was I had the, the table that I was working on on this flimsy door table and it collapsed and the whole thing bent and I had to get weights and put weights on it and have Wally walk on it and I think we got it re-flattened out, but missed a couple beats on that. But yep, let's check this. So it's just right now, I've got to clear the glass on it, the foam, hopefully the curve is correct. Should probably clean it up a little bit before I try it. I have not pre-fit this to see. See, I think like on real reality television, they would have pre-fit it and already known that it fit. Or it went in, but I think it's something that we're gonna be able to work with. It's clubs. Clubs. So yeah, a little bit of alteration, but I think we're going to make it work. Yeah! Just kidding. All right, um, back to work. I've seen in this part where we've had some problems and now in part two hopefully we have some solutions.